What is up guys, this is Schmidt262 and I'm back with another video for you guys up on Call of Duty Black Ops. And yeah, it's been a while, I'm going to say a good week or two. Yeah, I'm thinking about two weeks. Um, I haven't did a video in a while, so maybe a little rusty. <laughs> but yeah, I've been busy. Haven't played any Call of Duty Black Ops in the last maybe two to three weeks. So this gameplay is obviously old. I have a lot of gameplays already stored on my computer. So whenever I need a gameplay, I just go and look at my folder. My Black Ops folder and then pull up a gameplay in this game. I believe I went 60 and 7 up on I was swear I about to say sub base on summit because sub base for my summit reminds me so much of uh, sub base So I get usually get them confused, but yeah, I haven't played this game in a while I've been playing DC Universe um, In that game I got to say it's pretty pretty good um, I'm liking it thinking about buying it and the reason what's not making me Go at it and say I'm going to buy it because you have to pay $15 a month to go online because it's an MMORPG. And I haven't seen that on the PS3. So they're charging $15 a month. Which is, it's okay. It could be a lot worse. But but the game is pretty good so I can understand why they're charging $15 a month. Um, I think you get one month free when you get the game. So then the next month you got to pay. But yeah, let me know which if you, would you guys buy a game, you know, any game if it, you have to pay a monthly fee? Because usually I wouldn't. I don't play World of Warcraft, um, and I said I never will because you have to pay money to play that. And and Starcraft, Starcraft, you didn't have to play. You didn't have to pay money to play that online, and that's why I was. I used to play um, Starcraft Brood War. A lot like crazy 3v3 no rush 20 or map 3v3 um, zero clutter map max that was my game I didn't do that BGH stuff I was more of the 3v3 zero clutter kind of guy if you guys know what that is and maybe none of you guys even know what Starcraft is or even that game mode but yeah that's what I used to play but yeah playing up on summit here in this game I believe I had yeah I had the attack dogs um, I think I was trying to complete a challenge or something so I put on the attack dogs, but now I use the gunship. I use the gunship is pretty beast. I remember I said <laughs> the gunship sucks, and it actually doesn't. Um, I just got used to it, and you get so much kills on that. On that, um, what's it called? So many kills with the gunship. It's not even funny. Like you drop maybe a good maybe 20 kills, 20 kills or more with the gunship, and if you got a chopper gunner backing it up, then you know pretty gonna do some good damage um i'm trying to figure out what the heck is my kill streaks i don't think i use a chopper gun in this game i don't have the okay i know what it is now uav blackbird attack dogs yeah because i didn't see when i first watched this video i didn't see no chopper gunner so yeah so i had the blackbird blackbird's <laughs> you guys already know it's pretty good um gotta love that i actually switched up my kill streaks now so it's this blackboard chopper gunner and gunship um i got used to got used to playing without the uav i learned the spawn points for 6v6 so maybe if i when i go play some ground war i may put back on the uav to learn the spawn points because they're different because more people in the game it's going to be a little different spawns and different different kind of things and may have, i may have to learn different um routes to take because you know there's more people in the game, and which is not harder. A lot of people get that mixed up. 6v6 and 9v9. It's almost the same thing. You just have to watch for certain areas. Like I can, like in what's it called? What's a good example? Terminal. In yeah, Terminal from Modern Warfare 2. You guys all played Modern Warfare 2. You know where that library is? Um, running across there, right in the middle, is pretty pretty dangerous. Go, just going straight for it because usually there's a guy or two there and in the 9v9 and I usually it's hard to pull off sometimes I can pull it off sometimes I can't but most of the time I probably can't because maybe a guy rocking with an AA-12 and it blow my ass to smithereens um, but yeah but if in a 6v6 I usually can pull it off usually there's not a guy there and I can just run through it so you have to, so you have to learn like different routes to take and what are the best ones that's the best ones to um to just to take to because the spawn points you already know spawn points i always mention spawn points and a lot of people ask for tips and i'm telling you guys it's not hard to play call of duty you have to have fast reflexes 
Um, that means you got to turn your sensitivity up. Um, a lot of people don't play on high sensitivity. Like, they may play on four. I never I used to do that for Call of Duty 4 in the beginning, and then I'm like, okay, what's this sensitivity? I put it up, and I was like, wow, I can move so much faster. And that really, really saves my ass so many times. Um, the guys at the left of me or the right to me, I can just turn my screen really quickly and shoot them. I know it's that's common sense and all, but a lot of people just don't have their sensitivity up, and I can tell from like a kill cam or something like that. How he's, he's going so slowly and he could have killed me um, a lot quicker. But yeah, just a little tip. Put that sensitivity up. I'm playing on 9. I used to play on 8. But I thought it was like a little a little slow. So I put it up to 9. I don't think Modern Warfare 2 is 8 and Black Ops 8 is the same thing. I think it's a little different. I'm not sure. But... Just to just from the feel of it, I think it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna start posting more videos regularly. I go 60 and 7 on Summit. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later.